Prime Minister Modi, heads of government, ministers, Chief Minister of Maharashtra, business community representatives, officials and members of diplomatic corps, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, Mumbai. Namaste. The eyes of the world are on China. Sorry, on India. It used to be on China. Now it's on India. The IMF chief, Christine Lagarde, calls India a bright spot in the global economy. It is vibrant, it is multicultural, it is creative, entrepreneurial, and with remarkable prospects for the future, I am thrilled to be here. In Sweden, we marvel at the facts about India's growth rate, its growing middle class and demographics. Prime Minister Modi and the Indian government have set impressive goals to transform India's economy. The Make in India Week is a unique initiative and opportunity. I have brought here to Mumbai and in India a very strong business delegation, Team Sweden. With some of our most innovative companies and government agencies, my message to my delegation and to all of you here is the following. Sweden wants to be a part in the transformation of the Indian economy, or to put it short, let's make in India. And we already do, not least here in Maharashtra. For decades, Pune has been a home to Swedish manufacturing, and throughout India, the numbers of Swedish companies and jobs are growing. Swedish companies focus on skills development. They are recognized for their cooperation with the local communities. We take pride in being reliable partners, and we are truly here for the long term. I am proud of the great partnership my country enjoys with the world's largest democracy. We work together on issues from energy to the environment and health, from digitalization to defense and security, and we enjoy a close dialogue on global issues. And I see many areas for closer cooperation, but let me just mention two of my absolute favorites. First, innovation. Innovation has made Swedish com companies competitive. And you might be familiar with some of the Swedish internet applications such as Skype. Digital innovation is key to the future of manufacturing and there is great potential for Indian Swedish cooperation in this field. Second, sustainability. It is possible to tackle environmental cha challenges and achieve high economic growth at the same time. Let me take an example from my own hometown, Stockholm, in Sweden. Hundred years ago, heavily, heavily polluted from local industries, today one of the cleanest capitals in the world where you can actually take a swim in the middle of the city. So sustainability does not hold development back. On the contrary, developing new emission-reducing products and innovations that the world is asking for will create jobs and it will create export revenues. And companies and countries that are in the forefront will be the winners. So here we have a true win-win situation. Sustainability, dear friends, spurs economic development and growth. But it takes a shared vision. 
It takes close cooperation between government, industry, and civil society to modernize and to change behavior. So let us be guided by Nobel Peace Prize laureate Rabindranath Tagore's wise words. He said, you cannot cross the sea merely by standing and staring at the water. So let us boost cooperation and cross the sea together. I am pleased, dear friends, to announce that a Sweden-India Business Leaders Roundtable will be established with prominent personalities from our two business communities. And lastly, ladies and gentlemen, I come to India with an offer of even deeper long-term partnership between Sweden and India and I am convinced that Make in India will be one of the enduring centerpieces of this true partnership. Thank you very much. Mr. Modi, as he grasped, it cannot be just a digital India, or made in India, or smart cities, or startup India, or secure India, or an environmental. It's how they come together. I see your leader as an individual that much approaches an issue like a sculptor does, who looks at a large rock in terms of what's possible, and all of a sudden not thinks just of the statue,